white foxes are really clever so they can grab a piece of fruit and fly off with it and then eat it at their leisure so if they could only carry a little piece of fruit they'd have to hang around a very busy tree with a lot of competition from other bats whereas this way they can grab their prize and fly with it just a quick side note there's Red Richard on his mama he's doing really well she's such a good mum um, but back to you so they learn from a very early age to be able to hold a piece of fruit and run with it or fly with it which they have to do especially the littleies you've got a big powerful male in the tree and um, you're trying to get something to eat you've got to be able to run and grab it and just fly off as fast as you can before you get knocked out of the tree or someone steals your piece of fruit so this is one of the lessons that um, our rehabbing bats can teach our orphans how to successfully do this sort of behavior it's dinner time you see so they're waiting for the gravy train it's coming mr batzilla's chopping as we speak yeah so um they've adapted to all sorts of behaviors to um keep them alive and, and to um not to get beat up by other bats really you're not helping at all eh? Squee, naughty that's naughty Oof. i haven't got the dinner One of our rehabs thinking it's time for dinner. <clears throat> anyway, I find this very interesting. I've also seen them tuck pieces of fruit in their wrists. So that long finger there is the thumb, and there's a pocket in the wrist, and they um, can stick things in there and hold them quite quite effectively, actually. Today it's apple, but out in the wild it could be any sort of fruit, even um, you know, small mangoes. So they're, they're pretty clever, the big ones and you chew up the pulp and extract the juice and then spit what's left out which is called the spat very clear 